Yeah, now Jonathan was talking about the Andromeda Galaxy there, and I want to show you uh, a picture that I took, actually, while filming my new series out in March on BBC Two, Wonders mm -hmm. of the Universe. Even I have uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I took it um, in the uh, uh, deserts of New Mexico, actually, but just with a, an SLR camera, so using the same techniques that, that Mark told us about yesterday. And this is my image of the Andromeda Galaxy. And you see that it's... Um, well, it's a beautiful, bright spiral. It's a spiral of a trillion suns. So it's, uh, I, I think it's quite remarkable. It's two and a half million light years away. And if they were on, if they were there, if they were doing what we're doing now there and looked across back at us, would we look like that? It's a very similar galaxy to yeah. the Milky Way in structure. It's probably about twice the size. But yes, that's what the Milky Way would look like from two and a half million light years away. That's incredible. There's still an awful lot to be learned about Andromeda and what we're about to see is a first exclusively for us. The European Space Agency agreed to use two of their space telescopes, the orbiting Newton XMM and the Herschel, which is the largest telescope ever sent out into space to simultaneously image Andromeda. Let me just say, actually, I wanted to show you the telescopes. This is a touch screen for all you doubters on yeah. Twitter and everywhere else, <laughs> every social media site. Going, this is really a touch screen, as you see there, because I messed it up. What I wanted to do was that. These are the two telescopes. I'm showing you these two telescopes. So this is XMM Newton, which is an observatory, an orbiting observatory, which takes images in the X-ray part of the spectrum. So it's very short wavelength light that you can't see with your eyes. And this is the astonishing European Space Agency Herschel Telescope. Its mirror is twice the diameter of Hubble and it takes pictures in the infrared. Now, what the European Space Agency has done is they've, they've brought together a number of these. They've made, made a composite image of Andromeda in a range of different wavelengths. To explain that, joining us is Mark Kidger from the European Space Agency. This is what it looks like optically. This is what it would look like just looking at it, isn't it? Yes, exactly. And you can see that there are dark bands there, the central mass of stars there. The satellite galaxy that That's showed up nicely up in, okay. mm. in Brian's photo. Let, let's have a look at the image, will so, we? So just uh, these, oh. are, these are images. It's not that there are no stars there. That's dust. That's right? dust that's the blocking galaxy. the light of the stars. Okay, behind. fine. And then I, I just want to say that I know that you guys, this is real research, and you brought it forward so we could show this image on exactly. the show. So it's extremely good of you. The first time we've ever seen it. That is the composite image from these two space telescopes. Exactly. And this image was taken uh, it was a sum of four images, four and a half hours each exposure. The first one on December 17th, the last one on December 20th. Tell me about the, tell me about the red swirling here. What is this? OK, what is this? so what we've got, the red and the orange there, that is the Herschel image. This is dust that's being heated up by stars, young, huge stars, much bigger than our sun, that are warming up that dust. But warming is relative. We're talking about 20, 30 degrees yeah. above absolute but zero. But still, this is the dust that creates star stars, isn't That's it? That's where the, the stars are forming, the biggest stars so in the star galaxy. Forming regions. And these are the bits you can't see in the optical. That's you in can't the see that at all. That and is glowing. hidden. That's where, that's where you see black in the optical image. Yeah. And then what about the blue? And then the blue, pieces. these are the X-ray sources. And there are different kinds of sources there. You'll see different colors. Uh, there, these are different types of objects. The very brightest, the biggest ones, they're stars that have died, they're black holes. Black holes, you can actually see black holes within You can that. see, well you can't see the black hole, you can see the material falling into the black hole, being heated, being accelerated, and emitting x-rays. So that's, the, that's the real beauty of this image then, you can see glowing black holes, you can see star forming regions. So with those two telescopes you see a completely different picture of the story of Andromeda. You see a dynamic living galaxy, you see the stars forming where it's brightest yellow, that's where the stars are forming. And these blue patches, that's, these are where stars are dying or have died. It's an incredible image, an incredibly dynamic image of what's happening in Andromeda at the moment.